well, this video is long overdue. So I'm what you would call a fan of Lord of the Rings. And my, among my friends, they say I love Lord of the Rings a little too much. I don't, I mean, I don't think it's that big of an you know, obsession with it, you know? I mean, sure, I've watched the movies a couple times and, you know, I've collected a few things here and there and, you know, had some theories about the show and their movies and a Okay, maybe just a little bit. I like it just a little bit more than everyone else. But I mean, who can blame me? I looked it up and the movie ratings are over 80%. The lowest of the Lord of the Rings trilogy is 86%. The other two are 95% on Rotten Tomato score. And the overall trilogy, all three movies, or at least The Fellowship, made $897 million. US dollars. So I think it's fair to say I'm not the only one who likes those movies. Now, a few months ago, I discovered I had a unique talent. You can think of any show, any movie, actor, music, artist, anything, and I can somehow connect to The Lord of the Rings, no matter how crazy it is. You could even say the, the day Friday, like the actual physical day in the week and I would somehow connect it. That's how good I am at connecting that to Lord of the Rings. So, it is finally time. I had to dress up, because this was a special occasion. So, it's time to connect stuff to Lord of the Rings. Welcome everyone to the new series I like to call, Connect the Dots. So in this series, I ask you guys what shows, movies, anything you want me to connect Lord of the Rings, and I will do it. I'll do a couple of connections, like sometimes seven, maybe five, depending on how many I want to do, and I will connect it, no matter how ridiculous it may be. Now, the warning I'm going to give you right away, some connections will be the same. Some will have, like, the same connection, like, same actor or same movie, because I know I'm good, but I'm not, like, there's very limited to what I can do, because, like, not the Lord of the Rings actors... They haven't been in everything, okay? So some connections will be the same. That's what I want to tell you right away. And some of the connections I have made today are going to be the same. So, um, with that in mind, let's get started. So I thought the best way to start off would be the Disney Channel original TV show, Jesse. Because mainly... When I've done this for my friends, that's the one they've requested the most for some reason. I don't know why. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to connect Jesse herself, the four kids she babysits, and Bertram the butler. Those are the connections I'm going to make to Lord of the Rings. Without further ado, let's connect the dots. So, first off is... Uh, Jesse Prescott, who is played by Debbie Ryan. Now, Debbie Ryan was also on the TV show on Disney called Sweet Life on Deck, where she played Bailey Mary Pickett. Now, someone else on that show, another character, was London Tipton, played by Brenda Son. Now, Brenda Son is actually dating or married to Macaulay Culkin as of 2017. And he was in Richie Rich, along with the actor Edward Herman, who played Richard Rich. Now, Edward Herman played Grant, State, Grant Staten, yeah, the third, on the 1987 movie Overboard, which also had actor Kurt Russell, who played Dean Prophet. Now, Kurt Russell was Ego on Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And in that movie, there is Kel Karen Gillan, who plays Nebula. Nebula, who is also in Avengers Infinity War. And one of the characters in that movie is Eitri, the giant dwarf that... Thor goes to visit, and this dwarf is played by Peter Dinklage. Now, Peter Dinklage is best known as Tyrion Lannister on the popular HBO series Game of Thrones. And one of the characters in Game of Thrones is Eddard Stark, played by Sean Bean. And Sean Bean is best known as Boromir from Roll of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring. Next 
Next up is Cameron Boyce, who played Luke Ross on the Disney show. Now, Luke Ross was also in the Disney Channel original movie, Descendants 2. He played Carlos. Another actor from that movie was Dove Cameron, who played Mal. Now, Dove Cameron is also the voice of Ella in the Acre Birds movie 2. And in that movie, there is the Mighty Eagle. Mighty Eagle is voiced by Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage was a Tyrion Lannister, Game of Thrones. Eddard Stark, Game of Thrones. Uh, Eddard Stark is played by Sean Bean, and Sean Bean was Bormer in Lord of the Rings Fellowship. Okay, the next one is Peyton List, who plays Emma Ross in the show. Now, Peyton List was also the character Peggy in Hubby Halloween, along with Kevin James, who played Sergeant Steve Downey. Now, he was also Will Cooper, the president, in the Pixels movie. And another character in that movie was Corporal Hill, played by, you guessed it, Sean Bean. Sean Bean is Boromir in Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. Next up is Sky Jackson, who plays Zuri Ross. Now, she also played the voice of Madison, Madison and could... Kick Butkowski, Suburban Daredevil. One of the voices, or the characters in that show, is Cousin Kyle, who is voiced by Tom Kenny. Tom Kenny is also one of his better-known roles, is the Ice King from Adventure Time. Now, one of the characters in that TV show is Jake the Dog, played by John DiMaggio, who is also the character known as Dan Williams in the new TV show, Mythic's Quest. Now, another character in that show is Danny Putty, who plays Brad Bakshi, who is, and Danny Putty is also known as Comtech number one in Captain America, the Winter Soldier. And one of the main characters in that movie is none other than Steve Rogers, played by Chris Evans. Chris Evans also played the same role in Captain America, the first Avenger. And one of the main villains in that movie was Red Skull, played by Hugo Weaving. And Hugo Weave Weaving is best known as Lord Elrond from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Next up, we've got Karen Barrar, who played Ravi Ross in the show. Now, he also plays Kevin Singe in the new movie on Disney+, Plus, Stargirl. Another character in that movie is Giancarlo Esposito, who plays Archie Brubaker in the sh movie. Now, he also plays Moff Gideon in the Disney Plus original TV show, The Mandalorian. Another actor in that show is Tamiria Morrison, who plays Bobo Fett. He also plays Jango Fett in the Star Wars prequels, mainly like Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones. And one character in that movie is Count Dooku, who is played by Christopher Lee, and Christopher Lee is best known as Saruman from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Final one, we've got Kevin Chamberlain, who plays Bertram, aka the butler on Disney's Jesse. Now, Kevin Chamberlain also played Mr. Scanlan in Christmas the, the Cranks, Another character in that movie was Vic Froymeyer, a.k.a. played by Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd is Ray Stans in the Ghostbusters movie, alongside Bill Murray, who plays Dr. Peter Venkman, who also plays Baloo in the 2016 Jungle Book live action. Now, in that movie, Idris Elba actually plays Shere Khan. Idris Elba is actually McCavity in the 2019 movie Cats, and another character in that movie is Gus the Theatrical Cat, played by Ian McKellen. And Ian McKellen is best known as Gandalf the Grey and Gandalf the White in Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. And there you have it. Uh, we have successfully connected everything, all of those members of the cast of Des Jesse, to Lord of the Rings. If there's any movie, actor, TV show, mission, Anything you want me to connect to Lord of the Rings, please leave a comment down below. I will look at it, and I will choose which one would be best to do. If you like this series and want me to keep going, please like and subscribe. Share it with all your friends. It would really mean a lot to me.
thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. And remember, no matter how different two things are, they can be related one way or another. All you have to do is connect the dots.